Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So next month I'm going on a cycling trip and I need some power banks for that, some good power banks. So I bought four different power banks that should be about the same capacity and I tested them all four and I'm gonna send back the worst. So the first is a freeze power bank of 30,000 milliamp hour. It costs 40 euro. Then the second is a Strex power bank with 27,000 milliamp hour. It costs 39.95, so 40 euros. Then the most expensive, the Anker power core, 26,800 milliamp hour. This one is 65.99 euro. There is a reason why I paid so much for it. And then there is a Giga external AQ, 30,000 milliamp hour. So this one was 37 euros. So on the box it is already mentioned that it is 27,000 milliamp hour, so it is not 30,000 milliamp hour. So this is the freeze 30,000 milliamp hour. So this is the heaviest of them all and the biggest of them all. Then we have got the anchor. So this one has a special feature. It has got two micro USB ports for input, so you can charge each port at 2 amps so for me that is very handy uh, when charging with my solar panels my solar panels can do 24 watts but only 2.4 amps in one port so uh, it can do more than 4 amps over 2 ports so with 2 ports I will be able to charge this at 4 amps with my 20 watts solar panel or 24 watt solar panel then we have got the Strex so this is the lightest of them all but not the worst so this is also 27,000 this is 26,800 this is 30,000 so this is pretty good I am happy with this and then the last so this is the Giga Giga 27,000 milliamp hour so uh, this is heavier than this one but this is worse than this one so i'm gonna send back this one so let's check at the results so first the anchor power core it has cost me 66 euro it has dual micro usb inputs three times usb a outputs it weighs 494 grams it is claimed to be 26,800 milliamp hour and it measures 16,787 milliamp hour at 5 volts. Then the Giga battery externe 36.99 or 37 euro. It has USB type C with PD and micro USB for charging. 2 times USB A outputs and USB C. It weighs 420 grams. It is claimed to be 30,000 milliamp hour on Amazon. On the box it says 27,000 milliamp hour. Of course there is something not correct here. And it measures only 13,161. Then the Strex power bank. 40 euro. It has USB type C with PD for inputs. 3 times USB type A plus USB type C for outputs. It weighs 390 gram. So this is the lightest of them all. It is claimed to be 27,000 milliamp hour and it measures 14,011. So I think this is pretty good because it is better than the Giga. It weighs less than the Giga. Then the freeze high capacity power bank. Again 40 euros. It has micro USB and a USB type C with PD for inputs. 2 times USB type A for output and USB type C. It weighs 668 grams. So this is the heaviest of them all. Capacity is claimed to be 30,000 milliamp hour and it measures 18,811. So this measures the best of them all, but it is also the heaviest of them all. And I also measured my old Asametech 60,000 milliamp hour power bank. So this has cost me about 60 euro, I don't remember, it's about 5 years ago that I bought it. It has USB type C with PD for input and micro USB for input and also an iPhone charging input. It has 4 USB type A ports, outputs and USB type C. It weighs 1096 grams, so more than a kilogram. The capacity was claimed to be 60,000. 
I once measured it and it was 52,000 so it was really great but now it only comes up to 21,900. So it has lost half of its capacity in the last 5 years but I've been using it almost daily. I charge my phone with this, I charge my mp3 players with this, I charge my speakers with this, I charge everything with this power bank so I've used it a lot. But now I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it with me because it weighs so much and the capacity isn't that good. So for me the worst power bank of these four new ones is the Giga Battery Externe. So it weighs 420 grams and it is only 13161 milliamp hour measured at 5 volts. So it is the lowest capacity and not even the lightest of them all. So I'm gonna send this one back. I am really not happy with this one. I'm gonna keep the rest. Although I am not that happy with them either. I was hoping they would measure at least 20,000 milliamp hour, but none comes close. So my older power banks from RAF power were 26,800 milliamp hour, and they measured 20,000 at 5 volts. So there is a problem with mentioning milliamp hours if you don't mention the voltage. So many measure it at 3.7 volts, some measure it at 4.1 volts. Only one wrote on the box at what voltage it was measured. So actually it means nothing if you don't have all the data. What would be a better measurement would be watt hour. But they don't use that as much. So that will be it for today. It was just a short video showing my results of my power banks. I hope they will do me good on my trip next month. If you want to support me please join me on Patreon. Or you can do a donation with Paypal. Please help me because I need some money for my trip. So thank you all. Please like this video. See you all later. Bye.